Hey guys, welcome back. In the last session, we have discussed about when to use predicate, and we have seen an example on the predicate as well. We have seen uh, we have written a simple pseudo code. Okay, in this session, what I'm doing is I'm going to create a complete. I'm going to write a complete code for this scenario. Okay, let's do not waste our time. Let's go jump into the implementation. Now over here, before going to write the code over here, I want to you know, add one point actually. So whatever I'm going to route. Uh, going to write sorry uh, so i'll be writing uh, the code the main code in the business class and the uh, uh, the implementation code in the client application okay so just observe it first okay do not practice it while uh, you know teaching it while explaining the things and while writing the code so uh, just go through the video so understand the video then you can start writing then you can start practicing it okay fine let's jump to the implementation now let me right click on the source main java let me create a class so now i'll be taking the class name as a calci i'll be taking the class name as a calci i'll i'll add this class into a package called business class com dot example dot java 8 dot features dot practice dot i'll say business class finish so i've created a calci calci class now the next thing is what we have to do is we have to create a main class let me create a main class so i'll be giving the main class name as lc main okay and this main class will be stored in a package called a client application com dot example dot java dot feature dot client dot application and this client application the client main calci main class will be having a main method okay now let's go to the calci class in the calci class we are going to write a method which is used to check which will be checking the given number if the given number is even or odd check given number is a method which will be taken two parameters one is the predicate the other one is the actual value which you want to pass to the predicate open the curly braces inside the curly braces write the list of statements which you want to or which you want to do so for example let's say i want to yeah, i have to give the object name as right so predicate predicate so now I'll, I'll, I'll use this predicate object i'll call the test method of predicate test is a subtract abstract method right okay so I'll, i'm passing the number to a predicate okay so my number is what type it is it is an integer type let's pass the integer over here integer integer okay and this test method will be returning the boolean value so instead of like you know taking to separate we can take it into separate uh, we can assign to a separate variable you can say that is uh even or you can say is valid and we can return is this way also we can do it otherwise we can directly return this instead of doing this we can directly return you can directly write a return statement so this predicate dot test method will be written in the boolean value so what i'll do is i'll be writing the boolean so it's kind of like you know this approach could kind of like you know it's kind of difficult to understand for some of the people what i'll do is i'll write it i'll take this value into a, i'll assign the result into a, some variable okay so i'll give this as is valid and i'll return this is valid instead of is valid we can write is even as well is even or odd it's kind of like good approach good naming convention so I follow the same naming convention. So is written is a type of what is written is a variable of type boolean. So when you are returning the is even or odd variable name, you should return the type as well. So it will be written by type. That's it and public fine. Let me go to the calci main class. In the calci main class, I'll be creating an object of calci 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 equals to new calci. Okay. So now I want to call the method of calci. So the, here we have a check given number. It's a given method. This will be taking the predicate and the number. So we need to yeah, we need to pass the two values uh, if you want to make a call to this can check given number method so what i'll do is anyhow uh, we haven't provided any implementation right now what i'll do is i'll be providing the implementation for the predicate the uh, predicate test method so the predicate test method will be taking an object of type t right so you can see over here let me show you i don't want to confuse you so the test method will be taking an object of type t right this is an abstract method we need to provide an implementation we are just going to write that only okay so now what i'll do is i'll be providing the implementation i'll say this is a number it will be taking it number lambda expression number percentile two double equals to zero and if it, the number is get divisible by two so we can say that this is a predicate and and this is an implementation this is the implementation of test predicate test method so where test method is available in a predicate we have to give this details predicate of integer and i'll say int predicate thank you dotted function so now i'll say int predicate dot test method 
and here i need to pass a so sorry not this method sorry <laughs> what i'll do is now i want to uh, call the calci uh, calci method i want to call the method of calci right see we are right we want to call this method check given number method okay so for this method will be taking the two parameters predicate and the in number okay so i have predicate now i have a predicate now and i want to pass the i want to give the number as well right let me define the number number equals to 24 okay define the number what i'll do is i'll say calci i'll say calci dot take given number will be passing the by default it is taking right it is taking the predicate and it is taking the number as well so now this method this method will return boolean value right this method will return the boolean value boolean is even or odd is even or odd so now here we are writing the condition if, if the given number is even or odd so we'll say this that's why so the number is the number is even number the number is even number else it's an odd number it's, it's an odd number okay okay so what we have done we have created an object of calci class and uh, and we want to make a call to this calci method right this calci method will be taking the two parameters predicate and the number so we have provided the implementation so this calci method uh, will be calling the uh, 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 implementation of this test method okay so we have provided the implementation over here okay it's so it will call this method now uh, once it's calls uh, it will return the true or false that's what it will be doing let me run this one run as java application so it is returning the 24 is the even number okay so that's all from from this session in the next session what i'll do is i'll be debugging this code i'll show you how the things are executing it okay so uh, until then thank you for watching and please 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 subscribe to my videos uh, some of the uh, you know fellow members are like you know just watching the videos without any subscription uh, please subscribe the videos and uh, like share with your uh, friends as well okay um thank you for watching